Now let's check the transformation from two dimension to three dimension through the kernel technique. Look at here, if we have the data, if we have the nonlinear data in two dimension view, what are we gonna do? We are gonna change from the two dimension into three dimension. We are going from low dimension into the higher dimension. So look at here, I'm using the nonlinear support vector machine. What nonlinear support vector machine does? Nonlinear support vector machine uses the kernel technique. As I applied the kernel trick, I changed this data into the 3D form. Look, we went from two dimension into three dimension. We went from low dimension to the high dimension. It is in a 2D view. Here the data is mixed. There is no linearity. It is in a nonlinear form. So by applying the nonlinear support vector machine, which is actually the kernel technique, kernel trick. So when I applied the kernel trick, I changed this data into 3D form, 3D form, three dimension form. We have X, Y, Z, so it is in a 3D view. In a 3D, the nonlinear support vector machine draws a plane here, plane here, where it separates the data classes. All the triangles are above the plane and all the rectangles are below the plane. So both of the classes of the data have been separated nicely, nicely when you look at it in a 3D form. This is the 3D view and this is the 2D view where we have the data in a nonlinear form. Here we have the data in a linear form. They have been separated from each other. It draws a decision. What is, what is this plane? This plane is a decision boundary actually, which separates the two classes of the data. That's how the nonlinear support vector machine does. It uses the kernel trick where we go from the low dimension into higher dimension if we have the data in a nonlinear form. By changing the dimension, we can separate the data sets from each other. So I hope it is clear now that what is nonlinear support vector machine.